for those people that don't know anything about the towers, could you explain what's happening in Chinatown? Sure. There are four mega towers that are slated to rise that are being proposed right now. Each one is between 60 to 100 stories tall. Um, it will bring in thousands of uh, luxury units into a community that's largely low income and immigrant. Uh, we know that if these towers are built, the entire community is going to be destroyed. You know, high rents, real estate speculation is going to be unleashed. But we know that we have a fighting chance because these towers violate the city's own zoning laws. The problem is that our elected officials refuse to enforce this law. Instead, they're doing the bidding of the developers. So we're here today at 250 Broadway. We filed an ethics complaint with city council. We call on city council to sanction Councilwoman Margaret Chin because she's willfully helping the de Blasio administration violate the zoning law to greenlight these towers. Um, she, instead of calling for enforcement of law, she wants to put these towers through a EULA process where she has admitted that she will support the towers so long as the developers give a few crumbs, a handful of affordable units, you know, maybe a few local, you know, jobs for local residents, a few trees to line out parks and playgrounds. These crumbs are not acceptable, you know. These towers are going to end up displacing our community. They violate the law. Illegal is illegal, no is no. If you help break the law, you're a criminal. So that's why we call on the city council to sanction Margaret Chin and to enforce the zoning law, stop these towers from being built. The real process is nothing but an appeasement to the people. And the city council is using it to get these projects through. Yeah. Uh, how far do you think the, the city council will go as far as sanctions? Well, we don't have any faith necessarily that city council will do anything. But what we do have faith in is that people in our community come together and speak out, organize, mobilize, take to the streets. There's an anger that's simmering right now in the Lower East Side in Chinatown. We want to harness that anger and show city council that people will not just sit idly by while our community is being sold away. That's the only way that we will have a chance, a fighting chance to stop these towers. Um, on top of that, we intend to sue the city if they um, if they do issue permits for these developers to build, they'll break the law, plain and simple, and we won't let them get away with it. So, and you're building a, a group of outside people from different communities to help. Yeah. So we today like. There were individuals from all across Chinatown Lower East Side. Um, the Coalition to Protect the Lo Chinatown Lower East Side was represented. The Lower East Side Organized Neighbors, which was a committee of people who came together and discovered that these towers violate the law. But on top of that, there are communities right now across New York City that are organizing against the mayor's rezoning plans because we know that they will um, you know, encourage high-rise luxury development and result in mass displacement. So um, this is the citywide alliance against displacement. So we call on people from all across the city to join this fight, to join this alliance. It's the only way that we can stop the city from destroying all of our communities. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. Yeah.